Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to episode 3 in our adventures with SnowRunner's hard mode. Now if you look behind me, you'll see our Fleet Star is all loaded up and ready to drive. So we're going to get going in this one. We've got some steel beams attached onto the end of it. Our mission is to make money. Right now we have under $5,000 and we want to add the loading crane to our free Fleet Star because in hard mode, when you automatically load cargo, it costs $150. Bucks. Let's get started in driving here. And... We don't want to pay that all the time. And to get the crane, we need 5,700 bucks. We have under 5,000 right now. So if this episode goes right, we're going to end it by spending $5,700 putting on the loading crane onto this Fleet Star. Whoops, got a little bit of a stutter there. Sometimes that happens, but usually the performance I find on this game is pretty good with a few stutters here. Now, let me just kind of quickly show you a couple things here as we get started. It should be the crack of dawn here. Put the brake on let's stop the engine so we don't waste gas because we burn gas if we're doing that so right now we're over near our garage we're going to try to take these steel beams up to this fallen power line which is the mission that we're tracking right now they need metal beams and they also need concrete blocks now there's a trailer over here that's got some concrete blocks on it so i think we're going to drop the steel beams there drop the trailer here come back and get these concrete blocks and see if we can use those to open up the fallen power line that's mission number one we're going to then do a second mission downtown that we'll talk about. We're going to start on a third mission that's going to bring us all the way back here towards the garage. If all goes well, we'll make 3000 bucks, which will have us ending this mission with picking up five. We'll have over $5,000 to buy our thing. The next episode, we're going to try to come in and take the pickup truck, which we have upgraded a little bit between episodes, and go try to unlock these watchtowers up here on the top of mountains, which should be kind of cool. So let's get busy here. we got lots to do. Work to do, money to make. Now, it is the crack of dawn. In hard mode, one of the things is you can't actually uh, uh, fast forward time. In regular mode, you can fast forward the time. So we're gonna have some night episodes, which is actually kind of cool. It adds a little bit of an element of uh, the unknown here when you're sitting there in dark mode and you can't see as well and stuff like that. Let's turn on all wheel drive here just to help us through this muddy patch here. Now, these are the infamous metal beams. If you haven't seen our episode two in a regular mode that we started yeah that's quite an epic fail here this truck is struggling now with this uh let's see if we can get going oh wow, what's going on a little bit of a heavy load perhaps but anyway we're gonna make our slow progress over towards the power lines we'll see you as we get closer and see if we can drop these off and see if we can get these uh, fallen power lines cleared up so we can start opening up the roads here in black river michigan so we are getting close to the fallen power lines here this uh, was kind of slow wheeling here. These tires aren't very good on mud, and that uh, really made it, it took a long time here. We burned a lot of gas too, about 50 liters of gas, just getting down that road. And again, gas costs money here. That's gonna be, I think, 100 bucks for us to replace that gas. So things are expensive in hard mode, but here we are. So this should, we should be able to drop off these steel beams here, metal beams. And once we get these dropped off, we're gonna turn around all right, so let's stop here. X, I'm gonna drop these off, unload, perfect. Okay, so now we just need concrete blocks. Let's get out of here, and I'm gonna turn around here, and then we're gonna head back and see if we can pick up these concrete blocks. So we'll see if turning this around might be a little bit, this might be trickier than I imagined. Let's see how this goes, actually. That's not the way I wanna go. Uh, I need to go, how am I gonna do this? Uh, I'll figure this, I'll think about this for a second here. <laughs> I mean, we could unload the trailer and pull it backwards, I suppose. Goodness gracious, we're stuck here? Really? We're not going to get stuck here. Okay, let's um, detach the trailer. Now we'll pull around. Alright, so we got the thing, we got the truck here disconnected a little bit. That took a little bit. We'll put that there, and then we'll take the winch and connect it here. Let's see if we can pull the truck. We're going to pull the trailer out here. All goes well. Let's see how this works. The trailer's not coming. That should get it, right? Oops, 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 oops. Ah. <laughs> not quite what we intended to do there. <laughs> Okay, okay. We, we got this. We got this. Attach the winch. Pull forward a little bit. I, I actually, I, we're, this is going to be fine. There. We're going to attach it to the front of the trailer. Now when we pull forward, everything should work fine, right? 
wheels will come around. Don't hit the thing. Oops, don't hit this either. Oh my god, what am I doing? We got this. There we go. Just need a little encouragement. Good. I'm just gonna, because we're just towing it down at the end here. I'm just gonna pull it with the winch, so we'll just drag it. Because we're just dragging it down to the end of the road and leaving it there for the way back. That was easy. <laughs> Not inspiring a lot of confidence here. Alrighty, so now we're gonna detach this winch here and we're gonna leave the trailer there because we don't need it. We're gonna go back and see if we can get those concrete blocks and take the concrete blocks over there. That might actually be in the way. It is in the way, isn't it? Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, good. So let's just drag it up here a little bit. Out of the way. Sorry, sign. All right. So we're going to leave the trailer right over here, off the side of the road and out of our way. Perfect. Okay, good. How to make easy things hard. One quick thing here, sir. We can see the watchtower off to the right side of the truck here. In between episodes, I went and I unlocked that watchtower that was over here, and then I unlocked the one that was up here in the mountains. I picked up an upgrade that was down here, and then I pick up the upgrade that was up here in the mountains too. So I've been a little bit busy doing things that we kind of saw in the regular game mode because I didn't want to record those again. So I've opened up quite a bit of the chunk of this map on this side here, but now we need to keep going making money. So let's keep going getting busy. All righty, so there I think on the map, that's this flatbed trailer. Now, here's what I don't understand, but this flatbed trailer that's in here, the ramped flatbed trailer, it's got four concrete block concrete. It's grayed out in our list here, and it's got these four concrete lo loads of concrete blocks on it. What I don't know is whether this is like a trailer for a special mission. We're not supposed to just grab it, but we're gonna just grab it anyway and see if this works, because I feel like I just have to kind of, whoops, learn these things and figure it out. So we're gonna back in here, See if we can hook this trailer up, pull it out, get it over to the Fallen Power Lines, because that should give us that Fallen Power Lines mission. But I don't know if this is one we just discover or if it's for a special mission. We've been promoted, yes! Level three, because we've discovered this flatbed trailer. Excellent! Can we attach the trailer? The trailer is too far away. Oh, no worries. We can just go this way. Back it up, and now we should be able to attach, the, nope, not the winch, attach the trailer. Excellent, we're attached. Now let's see if we can actually pull this thing. It's probably going to be heavy. And it's sitting in mud. Wow, we can't pull it? Really? Winch it somewhere? On that stump, that'll help. I think if we can get it out to the road, we're going to be okay. Release it, good. Just need a little bit of momentum for that tree. Let's go. It's a heavy load. We got a lot of trees to winch it to. Let's winch it to that tree. I think we got this. We'll just tree it out of here. Yep, now we get momentum. We're looking pretty good here. This is a long trailer, though. Got to be careful here that we don't wrap it around the trees, I suppose. Nice wide turn. We winch to a guardrail. We can. Perfect. All right. Make this corner. How we? Whoops. Make this corner. How are we looking? Pretty good. Got to get the corner going here, though. That way. Got this. The heavy trailer. Nice. Four loads of concrete blocks. Okay, here we go. I think this will work, right? But anyway, we'll see you as we get closer. Glad I moved that other trailer out of the way, because we would not make this corner with that trailer in the way. Wow, this has been slow wheeling. This is a heavy load, and I can't seem to pull it here. There we go. That's what we want. This one right on the telephone pole. That's going to be the last thing we need. Get us onto the road, and then we should be okay. That one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, I think we're good. All right. Oof. This, uh... Load is heavy. <laughs> we don't have anything in the truck either, I think, which is creating problems too. So let's, this should get us there. Now the nice thing about this is that this will finish the job so we don't have to turn this around with the trailer on here because I think we had that much trouble turning around the short trailer, <laughs> reversing this longer trailer. I think what I'd probably do now is I would detach it, turn the truck around, then grab the rear end of the trailer and pull it out that way. But I think we can do is just pull here off on the side a little bit, get it really close to the right side. 
of this little loading zone and then just leave it here for when we come back. And then we can take it forward for some other thing. So yeah, let's get this right here. Cargo management, X, drop these off to, yes, 1500, nice. So mission accomplished, we're gonna accept that. And now we will detach our trailer. Good, we're gonna leave that behind us. We'll just leave those by the side of the road. Now let's go turn this around and head to town. And we're gonna try this second job. What's going on here? Oh, close functions, there we go. So we just need to turn around now. That should be doable. I'm sorry, tree. So we're gonna head back to town. Whoops, and uh, do the, the rock slide load at the other end of town. So we'll see you as we get closer there. But we're well on our way. We have enough money now, actually, but we're gonna need gas because we burned up over half of our gas here. Did not damage the truck yet, knock on wood. So there we go, that's a much better reversal than last time. We'll leave that behind us. Now let's go clear that rock slide, opening up two big roads for us. This is good. And opening up this road will help us get past it up to that gas station that's in the middle of the map too. So this is good progress for us. All right, so we want to grab this trailer with us because we can, I think, use this to kind of speed up some things and bring back a lot more stuff too. Gonna work, attach trailer. Trailer's too far away. Right now, perfect, here we go. Now this should be easy to pull, close the function. This should be easy to pull because we have nothing on it, so this should work out pretty well once we get out of this little soft ground here. These tires on this truck, by the way, they're braided poor in the mud, so that's why I think we're struggling a lot. I'd love to be able to get the raised suspension for this truck and then also get some better tires on it too. But those are things for the future here. In the meantime, we just gotta get some jobs in and make some money. Now, I know this next job pays about 1500 too, and one of my concerns is, so that's 1500 there, that'll give us about 3000 We had close to 5000 that'll give us like 8000 but we're gonna spend almost 6000 on that crane, which means that we're only gonna be left with about 2000 and that's not really enough to recover a truck. So I think kind of one of the things I'd like to be able to do in hard mode here is to get kind of a buffer zone of cash, which would be maybe like 10000 or something like that, so that if things go sideways and we need to recover a truck or emergency repair park truck, we've got kind of some money that's going to be able to cover that. So I think one of the goals is to do that wet harvest job, which pays, I think, about 5000 which would be, I think, very helpful because that would get us pretty close to that kind of 10000 buffer that I have in my head, at least for this first map, so that we'd be able to avoid kind of catastrophic failure. All right, so we'll do this water here. I'm taking it a lot more slowly in this hard mode than I did in the previous mode because I, I don't want those little dings and damage because each one of those costs money for us to be able to fix. All right, so let's go get some gas here. Wow, we burned 138 liters. That's why I think kind of one of my other goals here, 170 bucks. Wow, okay. Anyway, we're off now. One of my goals here is, I think, to always have the trucks, as much as possible, have the trucks running full with stuff on them. So avoid kind of long loads and long journeys where we're not taking any cargo or anything like that. We just constantly want the trucks busy covering ground. So I want to go here, do the rock slide mission. Then once we get the rock slide mission done, I want to go back and take some stuff back to the farm so we're not traveling empty as much as possible. Now we're empty a little bit now because we have to go from the, the power line mission to the town here. And I just want to kind of check a second here to see exactly what we need for this rock slide mission. I think all the stuff we can get here in town. Alrighty, so I have a rough plan. For the rock slide mission, which we're now tracking in the top right corner, we need metal beams so we can buy those in town here. It'll cost us 150 to kind of load them up manually, uh, load them up automatically. And then we need service parts, and there's a trailer right here with service parts on it. So I think what we'll do is, I think the strategy here is going to be to detach this trailer and just kind of leave it there for a little bit. Let's go get the metal beams in the thing, and then we're gonna pick up this trailer here and take this trailer with the spare parts over to the rock slide mission. So I think that should work. So let's see if we can get these metal beams in here. I'm gonna go right through the pickup spot here. Okay. Now I did watch um, Hissy Cat try to load up manually. Can we get those cargo up here? Load manually some of the stuff, which was Look like that could be kind of an adventure here. Metal beams is what we want. Auto load, 150, yeah. Now can we get, oh yeah, it's full, okay. 
All right, so now we want to come over here and pick up that trailer. So we need metal beams and service spare parts in the trailer here. I don't think we can buy the service spare parts here, but this trailer here has some service spare parts on it that we can grab. So the key here is can we back up, taking this gate out nice and quickly, and then get on our way. All right, so our trailer is hooked up here. We've got our service parts, we've got our metal beams. Let's see if we can get out of here without clipping the sign those functions and off we go to clear out this rock slide our second mission of today so we're approaching the rock slide we can see the rocks blocking the road here I did in between missions too I grabbed that scout that was up in the mountains and I brought it down here to the parking lot so we could get easy access to it later if we need it and I think also we can just kind of leave this trailer here because we can kind of be able to continue forward on this and I don't really know yet what I'll do with it so let's get cargo management going here whoops parking brake whoops stop unload ah. Stop, stop, stop. That, that didn't work out very well. Okay, you didn't see that. That was a private moment. X. Unload. All right, metal beams. Unload, service parts. Perfect. Accept. Good. That gives us some mission money here. The road has been cleared. Just pull this up a little bit here. And put the parking brake on. We're going to detach the trailer. We'll leave those bricks there which are fine for right now. Undo the parking brake and let's get going here. Now our mission is going to be go get some stuff in town, bring it back towards the wet harvest mission, which actually I think pays quite a bit of money. So that won't be handy to have. We're gonna take this, we'll take the flatbed trailer and load it up. And then we're gonna take that other trailer that we left behind downtown and grab that and load that up too. So we'll see you as we get close to downtown. But right now we've made enough money to get that um, I just don't want to travel empty back to the base because that's a waste of gas. So instead, we're going to take some stuff back and start on that wet harvest mission. Now, the wet harvest mission, we're going to have to get into the farm with all of the, uh, the stuff on here, which is not necessarily the easiest thing to do given our lame tires here at this moment. But we'll do our best. So we'll see as we get to town. Alrighty, so we have here our wet harvest one. We want to get two loads of bricks, two loads of wooden plank planks, and metal beams. I don't remember whether we have to get bricks at that factory or that we can get bricks right here. I think we can get bricks here, but maybe not. If that's the case, then we'll have to take wooden planks uh, for now. And then, whoops, wrong way. And we'll get the wooden planks over by the thing. We'll take the wooden planks and the steel beams, and then later, We'll, uh, we'll come back and we'll go over to the factory there and get the bricks. So we, we're not going to be able to finish this one today, but this one does pay 3800 which would be nice because we desperately need the money here. Sorry about that mailbox, ma'am. All right, so let's see if we have bricks here. But I do remember we at least have the steel beams here, metal beams. We know that. It's going to cost us some money here to get these too, so it's a little bit of a bummer. It's going to cargo management. Oops, stop. All right, metal beams. Metal beams. Metal beams. We don't want metal beams. Uh, what else do we have here? Right button. Truck. That's all we can get here is metal beams? I thought we had something else. Hmm. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like we can get bricks here, so that that's fine. We'll go get the... We'll get pick up the metal beams here, and then we'll... Uh, whoops. We'll get the metal beams on here. On the trailer... Auto load, spent 150 for that. Good. Then we'll go down over to the other side here. Let's get out of here. And we're going to go get our uh, some wooden planks there. I thought we could get bricks here, but it must not be. All right. So just, let's just check it here, see if maybe I missed it up. Nope. Looks like just metal beams. Okay. Well, we'll do that for now. It's still a good start for us here. It's getting to be nighttime, too. So we're going to finish this day. It's a long day here. So now we'll head down over to the... Lumberyard, and we're going to pick up some wooden planks for us. We've got turns over here. So we'll see you as we get closer. Oh, that was a little bit painful. I think we have a repair trailer down at the garage that hopefully we can kind of repair this stuff with. That was a little bit of a painful bump because that's, I think each point of damage costs like two bucks to repair, and you have to do a full repair, which is really expensive. We want no part of that. All right, so I think right here, we can get our cargo, wooden planks, 
Yep. Auto load. Why can't? Oh, we don't want it there. We want it to load it. We want it on the truck. One, two. Perfect. Okay. Let's close this up and off we go. Go up this way. I think so. Wait a second. Let me just check the map. I don't want to do something super stupid. Just remotely stupid would be good. So, yeah, out there and then right. I don't think we've discovered the sideboard trailer yet, but we're going to leave that there for the moment. I don't want to be messing around on this off-road stuff with such a heavy load here. So, we'll get headed back. That's a trailer we have yet to discover. We probably could have discovered that we were here. Oh, it had wooden planks on it, too. Oh, well. Okay, I'm sure we can use them. So, we're going to head out here and head right, head back towards the farm, and take care of this, and we'll see you as we get closer to our destination. This is slow wheeling here, as you can see. We're not making great time, but it's slow but steady. I feel like we're under control here. I feel like even though we got a heavy load, doing it this way, I think, has got to make the most sense, right? Carrying as much as we can carry so we can get some winch help here. A little bit tricky going uphill here, but I'm feeling like we're doing okay here. I think we can make it. A little bit slow here. Let's try first gear. Go. Kick it into first gear. That helps. All right. That's some heavy load. So I definitely, I mean, you get the sense here that these trucks, super beginner trucks, I do think it'd help if we had mud tires, which we just don't have at the moment. So I do remember, I think we got, get the race suspension. We got the, we got tire upgrades. I forget how we did it in the re uh, regular mode. So that's something I have to try to remember because I, truck performance definitely needs to be upgraded here a little bit. And I get a sense that money is going to be always tight, at least especially in the beginning here on these first few maps with hard mode. I'm also a little bit concerned as we get, because as we get closer to the new map, I mean, I kind of know what the roads are like here, but I have no real good idea, except for that beginning section on this beginning area of the second section, like what the roads are. And I think that's where you, know, you get in trouble when you get in over your head quickly and you just don't know what's going to happen. Those, those eyes of animals or something like that? What's the heck? Those wolves or something? What's that staring at us? It's a little bit ominous, but I do like in the hard mode here that you can't automatically switch to day mode. As much as I liked uh, the ability to film in day mode, I feel like this adds a little bit more of kind of just a grittiness to it, that you're in the dark and it's kind of hard and all that kind of stuff. So here we are heading over a bridge. Now the trickiest part left in this delivery is going to be getting the stuff into Matthew's farm. Because if you recall, we did get stuck several times there, and this is a pretty heavy load, so we might have to bring another truck over and see if we can pull it out if we do get stuck. But that's that's down the road here a little bit. We'll see when we get there. All right, this is kind of slow going in here, and I had to winch my way through it last time, so I'm trying now low gear with the differential lock on. It's slow going, but I feel like it's pretty steady here. Concerning how much I had to winch on this road before, I just don't think this truck has a lot of power. I think that'd be another thing to get for this one would be um, an upgraded. Uh, be another thing to get for this one is an upgraded engine, which I think somewhere must be on this map somewhere here. All right, through the slow stuff. I'm thinking here when we get to the farm. What I might want to do is detach the trailer, drop the wood off, and then come back and get the trailer, just because got stuck there so bad before. I think trying to go in with this super low, super heavy load might not work out the best. Yeah, this is so slow. I'm going to take the trailer off and see if we can go and drop the wood off, come back up, get the trailer, and then try it that way. So let's uh, just attach the trailer now. Good. And then we're going to take the wood in here. That should help us with the weight and getting things delivered and stuff. <clears throat> Stay out of these ruts here too. That way we can swing around and head right out. I think this is going to be a lot smarter. Alright, so let's get this wood delivered to Matthew's farm here. Up on the left side, because we know that's drier. And right there, good. Wooden planks. One, two, perfect. Good. Now it's back up. I wonder if I can shift. I suppose if I had the crank, I wonder if I could shift the steel beams to the truck. What's going on here? I can't see. There we go. I wonder if I could shift the steel beams from the trailer to the truck so we wouldn't have to drag the long trailer in there. I suppose that's something to check out for the future. But I think we would need the crane for that, right? Would be my guess. All right, so let's just zip around here. 
We're going to hook up the trailer, pull that in. We should be two-thirds of the way done with this mission, so we need bricks after this. I think we have to get bricks over at that factory, which we haven't opened up yet, but that's our next episode, is to open up the factory with the bricks. Attach it. Perfect. Whoops. Not a very good job there. <laughs> You're like right in front of the sign. All right. We can still get this. No worries. Well, we can get this part, I think. This is slow wheeling here. But we stay to the right and we loop around. I think we're going to be okay. We've done this before in the regular mode. And I think this Fleet Star with the all-wheel drive is plenty capable of pulling this in, albeit a little bit slowly, dropping it off, and then we're out of here. That's the goal, anyway. We'll see you in a few hours as we get to the dropping off zone. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. Cargo man, good. Metal beams, perfect, good. We have bricks to drop off next, so we're not done with this one. But if all goes well, we should be able to back out of here, take our trailer with us, do this, just as dawn's rising here. Nice, looks like that worked out okay. We'll take our empty trailer back to the garage, just because I think that's probably better to have it there than have it here. And then we're going to go buy our crane, because we have enough money to do that now. So we'll see you as we get back to the base. We'll load up with gas, buy our crane, mission accomplished, position to explore the other side of the map. All righty, we are home again. Let us uh, zip around here. We're going to drop the trailer off, get gas pull our truck in and see if we can upgrade the Fleet Star with a loading crane. That's going to be cool. Let's, let's twist around here, make a nice sharp U-turn. I wonder too, we have a repair truck here. Can we possibly repair? Cover cargo, remove cargo. No, I guess we can't. I don't know how to repair things yet. If, if people know, because that's our repair trailer right there, and I think we could use that to repair our trailer. I'm not sure if we have to have it hooked up or not, but let's um, stop here and get gas anyway. Fuel. There we go. Perfect. Pull her up. Excellent. All full. We've depleted that trailer quite a bit here. Let us now... I think we can detach the trailer right here. That should be fine. Detach trailer. Good. Get rid of the trailer. We'll pull in here and get gas. Ah, we got gas. We're going to pull in and see if we can upgrade this trailer, get the cargo winch, the crane on it, and then we are done for today. Not a bad day, I think. All objectives... Can we customize now? We have 7,200. Let's come down here, frame add-ons, heavy crane. Oh, that's, we don't want the heavy crane. We want the loading crane. Buy it. Why can't we buy it? We did buy it. Now we're down to 1,500 bucks. So we don't have much money, but we have the crane loaded onto that, which is good. Excellent. We will stop there. In our next mission, we're gonna go forward and try to unlock this part of the map over here. We can take our pickup truck, which has been upgraded a little bit, and try to get these two watchtowers and along the missions along the way. Thanks for tuning in. If you've enjoyed this, we'll see you in our next episode. If you do like these, you might also enjoy our series with American Truck Simulator. We are up to episode 51 right now. I'll put a link to it right here. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.